What's going on, you guys? How's it going this afternoon? It's Dave here. I would say the time because that's what I usually do, but I'm not going to because my phone is away from me. My mom is my mommy is fixing my phone. Man, this is getting real shaggy. I was uh, looking into something last night. Now, I'm sure you guys, if you've watched several of my videos, know that my sister told me one afternoon after surgery that if you beat cancer, I'm going to buy you a Mercedes Benz Sprinter. So I've been looking into something. How much is it going to cost for me to get it wrapped? Like the mystery machine. <laughs> Graceland is, uh, used to be, and I think she still enjoys it a lot, but she used to really, really, really love Scooby-Doo. <laughs> now, all this being said, I understand completely. <laughs> Every time I mention it, I have to, you know, I think about it and I, I truly think that that's a lot of money and I don't know if my sister's really going to do that because, you know, at the time the doctors were saying I have four months to live and my sister, I'm sure, is going to dread the moment when they say, I don't, I'm, I'm good, cancer's gone. What's up, Joe, bro? Nothing. So. Not be a new video. Honey, you already are. How? Your voice. You want to come sit on Daddy's lap? Whoa. This is my Joe right here. I got me a Joe. This is actually little Dave. No, it's not. Yeah. No, not. Yeah. No. Joey, stop saying no. Just say no. It's not fun. It's true, though, buddy. How? Ask Mommy when she see, when you, next time you see her. Okay? In this many days. No, and um, this many days, remember? Six days? Yeah. You know what's in six days? What? Christmas. 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 Yep. <laughs> but I don't, sorry. <clears throat> I don't truly expect my sister to, you know, spend $55,000 on a van for me. So, I do a lot of looking at cars because at some point I'm going to have to buy one. So, and I found some pretty nice ones, you know? Yeah. And I'm... <laughs> <laughs> talking to you is just as good as talking to the screen, huh? <laughs> You're yeah. such an angel, buddy. <laughs> but... <clears throat> If she does, I'm going to be super excited. And if she doesn't, I'm not going to be super disappointed. I'm going to be, you know, I'm still going to threaten her with a coffee mug every time I see her. But, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, I would probably, myself, if I have to buy my own car, I'm probably going to buy, like, the Hyundai minivan. Or the Pontiac minivan. It's pretty nice. Or a jumping car. Yeah, we can get a. I can get one of those cars, a General Lee, and we can jump it. Yep. If there's any bigger hills. Yeah. We can jump over a bigger. There's hill. used to be by my house, Joey. There used to be a railroad track, and if you got up to like 40 miles an hour driving on the road, you could actually jump the railroad track, or the <coughs> railroad track would make you airborne. Airborne? It would make you go airborne. You would actually leave the ground and go air in the air. You know, only for a second, but it was still... My ears was actually pretty scary. <laughs> Not as scary as the time that some of you people might know this, if you guys are you know, from... Jump I'm would talking be for a second. I'm talking. Far. When we used to have this place that we partied at, well, I'm sure there are still several people who party there, but... <clears throat> it was called the 360 Trails. And I had this Ford Ranger, an old Ford Ranger. Not like super old, but it was like a mid-90s. And 
I was lit one night and I made it up this really big hill and they were called the 360 trails. I don't know if I said that already. I think so. But they were a bunch of trails and when it rained it was muddy and when it was muddy it was fun. And there were several hills that went straight down. There were several several <clears throat> places that went really a significant degree up. And I was doing that one day in my little micro truck. And you know, probably caught some air. And where I landed was right on top of a fire. And everybody kind of flipped out. They're like, dude, fire, 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 fire. And I like started to get out and I'm like realized my truck's not on fire. I'm, I landed on the fire, the bonfire. So I put it in reverse and back back down the hill, which was almost as scary as, dude, daddy is doing a video, chill out. Which is almost as scary as landing on the fire because that was hard to go back down. That night, I was the first time I ever, I always knew that I was not a, I didn't, wasn't going to drink and drive, ever. I did to jump with really, really, really far when, but when there was no bigger bumps. Okay, Daddy's going to talk now, okay? Just okay. chill for a few minutes. But this night, I did. And I got pulled over. And the cops, they all knew me because of my cousins. Thank you very much for that, cousins. And my uncle. And who is your uncle? We'll talk about it later, buddy. We they pulled me over and they're like, okay, um, you need to get this thing home right now. And told me to go ahead and drive home. And he followed me the whole way. Now that same cop every day pulled me over at the same spot. I'd come home from work and he would pull me over at the exact same spot every single day. Because the truck was was first owned by my grandma, it was still in her name at the time. I think it never actually left my name until I sold it. But <clears throat> when when I turned 18, I got a little bit of money and I bought that truck from her. But when Every single day, he would pull me over. He would ask to search my truck. And the first few times, I was like, sure, go ahead. And then one time, he found vodka in my truck. And because it was, chill out. Chill out, bud. Relax, okay? <laughs> go sit on the chair. Do that. Um, it was an unopened bo bottle of vodka, which... I didn't drink very often then, and you know, for the last probably 15 years or so, maybe 20, I haven't really drank at all, maybe twice a year, only when it was my birthday, New Year's, or when I went to a Mexican restaurant, I had to have a giant, giant margarita, <laughs> yeah, so, this particular thing though, he said, all right, I'm gonna have to take you to jail. Because I was a minor in possession. So I was under 21. Well, <clears throat> after that, well then he let me go because it was my grandma's truck. Because I said, I don't drink vodka. I don't drink any alcohol, really. He goes, you know, we've never really, you know, I've caught you once drinking and driving, but I've never really seen you drink. You know, when I was like 13 or 12 or 13, I went to a party <clears throat> at a friend of mine's house. And just got absolutely hammered. It was his birthday. It was actually somebody else's birthday. Mr. Brooks's birthday. He was 18 years old. It was his 18th birthday. And luckily he didn't. The cops didn't catch me that day because a waiter at the ponchos that was beside pretty close to my house, it's a Mexican buffet restaurant, was driving through the parking lot and said, you get in this car now and took me away.
because he knew my family. Because, as you can tell, we eat a lot. <laughs> but anyhow, I just wanted to come in and talk a little bit. I was just kind of in a good mood. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. If you watched it till now. And if you like what I talk about, hit the thumbs up button. If you dislike it, hit the thumbs down button. And share it on Facebook, Twitter, whatever. And subscribe if you like what I talk about. If you want more of it. Have an amazing day. Make sure you go to bed. Make every day as good as you possibly can. Better every day. And smile as much as you possibly can. Have an amazing day. I love you guys.